Many people dream of building a successful business, but few know how to make it into a reality. And if you're one of them who struggles with fear of failure and doubt themselves every time they can't see a result, then this video is for you. So today I'll be sharing very invaluable advice from a successful CEO who has probably been in the same shoes as you have been. So meet Rima Darden, the founder and CEO of UAE's most popular and successful home decor brand called Irony Home. So for those of you who don't know about it or don't live in the UAE, let me give you a little bit of background on who they are. So Irony Homes is Dubai's leading home decor and festive decor brand, and they specialize in Christmas decor. It started 20 years ago in 2003 as a small business founded by Rima Darden, an American interior designer. Hi everyone, I can't wait to show you our amazing project at the Taj Residence. It's a conceptualization studio. What that means is that they bring to you the latest trends and luxurious designs and are continuously transforming living spaces across UAE. I myself absolutely love their Christmas pieces because they're just so beautifully made and unique that you have to have them in your Christmas tree every year. So let's go ahead and talk to the amazing lady herself who has made an extremely successful business out of selling Christmas decorations in a majority Islamic country. Well, Rima Darden, uh, thank you so much, first of all, for sparing some time from your busy schedule to speak to me and my audience. And welcome to Dwell by Sirith. Thank you very much. And it's an, I'm excited to do this interview as well. Same here. Um, I want to ask you first, um, how did you even get the idea of selling Christmas decor in a predominantly Muslim country like the UAE? I mean, what gave you the confidence, you know, that you will be able to make any profit at all in this business, knowing that Christmas was not such a big deal in the UAE back in 2003, right? That's when you started. Well, I yeah, I moved here in, to Dubai in 2003. We had lived in Asia for 14 years. When I came here, I wanted to start a business. Obviously, I had my kids and right. I wanted to do something and I wanted to work from home. And uh -huh. at that time, they didn't have a permit that allowed women like us to work from home. So I had to open a shop and I'd been doing Christmas in Asia for the last, you know, 10 years, since in, since 97, right? I came here and they were just opening Adina Jumeirah or Mina okay. Salam. I went and met with the general manager at the time and it, it all started stemmed kind of from there. They had a need for Christmas decor. I think there was one company at the time. I'm sure you must have faced plenty of difficult times when you did start this business and you were growing it. What made you keep pushing forward even when you didn't see any result? I actually saw results from the get-go. The first year, we think we even did better than break even. I can't remember because it's so long ago. But the issue was starting the business was very difficult, actually, because at that time, you couldn't just go and there weren't all the, you know, get a license for this, license for that. You had to deposit, you know, 300,000 dirhams into the bank. I mean, there were a lot of like steps. And now that Dubai has become so much easier to open up a business, right? That were the, that's where the difficulties lie. From the beginning, we did well because we had a, a unique product. Irony Home uh, did began as a small business. But what do you think was that one factor you think that made it what it is today? A UA's number one luxury brand in home decor. I think it's also, again, I'm going back to originality and doing something different. I always tell my team, you know, there's no point for us to go and purchase product that everyone else has. I know that we're a little bit more expensive, something that's a little bit more expensive and better quality, you get unique product. That's why we've been able to survive in this market. Listening to you, I realized you kind of did manifest uh, Irony Home into your life. So what was that thing that reminded you to work every day towards your vision? You know, because if I'm not wrong, you started it like 20 years ago. It's a very yeah. long time to keep working towards the same goal. So w where was your power coming from? I actually just started the business out of wanting to do something, right? When you have young children, women want to be busy and doing something. So I always did something no matter where we were. I just think it's important to keep yourself busy and keep your mind active. So I realized that I had an ability to create beautiful settings and gorgeous Christmas decorations. And that kept me going. And I love to see the look on people's faces when they actually enter one of our projects or Christmas in itself. Even men who really rarely say anything. 
<laughs> yeah, I have to agree. Your Christmas decor is really very catchy. So first time I came to Dubai myself was two years ago. And I remember walking in Mall of Emirates and I saw the pop-up. It made me feel like I'm in a movie set. It had the most gorgeous decor and it's very inviting. And I'm sure our audiences are going to agree once they do visit the pop-up store in October, hopefully. It is a movie set because what we do is we get a blank room. They build a white box for us. We come in and do our magic. After talking to Rima, a few things are absolutely clear to me. Number one is that we need to have a vision for ourselves. And number two is that we have to continuously work on that vision because that's what's going to make it successful. I want to stress on the first part in this video though. We all have visions in ourselves and our future, but why so many of us are never able to fulfill them? Because it's true. Once it is out of sight, it is out of mind. You know how we hear so many TV personalities talk about it? They always keep saying that we have to stay relevant because you're not relevant anymore if you're not on the magazine covers or if you're not on social media or if you're not on TV screens because people tend to forget you. And I think that's very similar to our visions and goals. Because how can we manifest something if we keep forgetting about what it was because we are so distracted by our immediate needs and are so busy living the same lives? And really, the same way, this is true for our visions and goals as well. Our written down goals are not relevant anymore if we don't nurture them and keep them close to us, in front of us. Memory is unreliable and it fades. A physical space, on the other hand, if dedicated only to your vision, can be very unforgettable and a motivating thing. So I have been practicing a habit of keeping my vision alive in the form of a manifestation corner in my home for myself, which has become a mini self-care ritual for me. So for example, I've been wanting to get healthier for a very long time and just wanted to get the main health and mental goals done and completed first thing in the morning before I got too distracted and got on with my day. No other trick had worked in long term for me. No amount of writing it down or making to-do lists or plans or getting apps worked for me. So I ended up creating this eye-catching vision or manifestation corner for myself where I have kept the essential things that I have to take care of no matter what. Each item here has a purpose. Example, this beautiful shell boat food bowl is always kept filled with all the fruits that are usually lying in my fridge forgotten. Because it's always in front of me, I will grab it and eat it. Then there is this unique seashell lotus candle holder, which symbolizes the light in my life shed by some eye-opening books that I would normally like to read and learn from. So this helps bring my attention to the book kept near it that I have to read a page from every day for a productive mindset. Another goal which I really struggle to achieve every day is drinking enough water. So to the rescue comes this huge, stunning and attention-grabbing seashell conch bottle holder, which is my physical hydration reminder. And because it's so unusual and eye-catching, I always end up looking at it wherever I am sitting in the room. And because of that, I eventually walk towards it and drink the water that I need to. It's a good size, so this lets me keep four bottles of one liter each, so that even when I do feel lazy to refill them, I don't have to because all the water I must have in a day is always in front of me. And this has been so much more effective in getting me drink that water than any other app could have been. And lastly, to attract some good vibes. I keep orchids, which are known to bring good luck and positivity in life. I keep them in this too beautiful to describe irony home flower vase, which has me turning my eyes automatically towards it. So always making me feel good throughout the day. This is so easy to create and it's such a simple but effective trick to physically bring all your goals in front of you rather than let them bury in a pile of to-do lists. But one thing you have to make sure is that this has to be an inspiring space because it has to evoke something in you. It has to give a sense of inspiration. It should leave an impression on you because that's what beautiful spaces and places do. They are memorable. And because of that, you never forget why you created them and what they mean to you. And this is what my manifestation corner does for me. And if you need help creating a stunning corner for your dream, then do make sure to check out Irony Home's website provided in the description box below. And I've also mentioned the links to all the products shown in my video in case you wanted to use them for your manifestation corner. They also do an annual Christmas pop-up shop in Mall of Emirates in Dubai every October. So if you are in Dubai this October and want to have the most unreal Christmas decor in your house, then do go and check it out. Or you can also shop on their ongoing July Christmas sale, which is on their website before it's over. Manifestation does have the power to bring to your life what you really desire, but it's not just daydreaming. It's attracting what you want and then continuously working for it as Rima clearly shows us with her phenomenal success in Irony Home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Take care.